in Missouri, my cooking looks fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. How's everybody out there? I'm Christine Deaton, and I am thrilled that you are here. Hey, we have a lot to do today, but before we get started, I know Kathy Pagliata is out there, and I want to talk to you guys about her. She is our first sponsor of our show. Yay, Kathy! Yay. Thank you! And this is her amazing sauce, okay? If you like genuine, authentic, Italian-flavored sauce, this is from Kathy's own kitchen. It's amazing. It's a family recipe that they've developed through the years. And I'm telling you, this stuff is to die for. So Kathy's our very first sponsor. Thank you, Kathy. And I want to tell you that this is made with certified San Marzano tomatoes. It's got fresh garlic. It's got fresh onion, fresh basil, white wine. And this is delicious sauce. Now today we're cooking Mexican food, but in two weeks when we come back to this part of the kitchen show, um, we're going to be doing some giant pasta shells stuffed and everything, and Kathy's sauce is going to be the star of the show. So don't miss that. So Kathy, I know you're out there today, and thank you girl for this amazing sauce. And anybody that wants to order the sauce, you can go to, now it's Kachina, I want to get it right Kathy, so maybe you can pop it in, I want to make sure I say exactly right. So if you'll pop it in, she's got a website that you can go, and then you're just going to do, um, and we'll, we'll get that information to you before the show ends, but you'll have a way to get Kathy's sauce, and it'll be from our kitchen nook. I think it's nook two and nook four on her website, which will get you the website, and um, you can order nook two is two bottles, and nook four is four bottles, so... Thank you, Kathy, and this sauce is delicious. I'm going to leave it right out here so you guys can see it as we do the show. Okay, we have a lot to do today. We're making a fresh salsa. We're making fresh guacamole. I'm not making the guacamole. Emily's going to make that. We've got my everybody here, my family. We've got my three daughters here. This doesn't happen a lot. That's Elizabeth, Ashley, Emily, my mom, Fran. My granddaughter's artist and Amory, and the artist is actually, she asked if she could help today, so she's going to help Mommy wow. make our special wow. salsa sauce, okay? You're going to do that? You're going to do that. She's going to be a big help. We're going to come back in a minute. Okay. Let's go over here. First of all, let me tell you, we are making sheet pan quesadillas. Now, quesadilla, what is quesadilla? It's tortillas and cheese. But we're doing a whole lot of other things with it. So we're very excited about that. Now, in the oven, I already made a chicken green chili quesadilla. So I'm going to pull that out in a minute and show you what we did with that. And then I'm going to start right now. And I'm going to make my ground turkey or ground beef, whatever you guys want to use. Let me get my glasses off. I can't see with my glasses on. Does that make any sense? Anyway, I'm going to heat up my pan and I'm going to do a, a new pan, okay, of the sheet pan quesadilla. Lots of cheese, queso, lots and lots of cheese on these, okay? And it's so easy. So, while my pan is heating up, here's your, here's your sheet pan, okay? you got to make sure that it's got a little bit of a lip on it, at least an inch lip, okay? I'm going to spray it just, just a little bit, not a lot, because this is a Teflon thing, so it's not going to stick, but I want it just sprayed some, okay? This is still heating up. So, what do we do? We take the big tortillas, okay? We have Mary Heffington with us. She said she tuned in just in time to hear two of my favorite words, pasta shells. <laughs> and she also, well, <laughs> she also said she shared on her page. So thank, thank you. you. <laughs> we have Raul Montiel watching. Well, hello, Raul. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. Um, now, Raul out there, he makes some dynamite yeah. food. He's he makes. Cook. He's a great cook. So. Uh, now I feel like I'm under pressure with Kathy out there and we're all out there, all you sure. amazing yeah. cooks. <laughs> all right. These, by the way, are some of my pot holders. And somebody today, if you watched last show, not last week, because last week was our a talk and treats show, but the week before, if you watched, we put you guys down and somebody's going to win a pair of my my. My pot holders today. Kathy did put her email on here. Okay, great. Her, her website's we will, there. We will get that information out to everybody. Why did I throw these over here? Because I got to get here now. We also have Roberta Campopiano Hello, is watching. Roberta Hello, Campopiano. Roberta. How are you? I bet you miss a bit. All right. Let me get this off because I want to show you the process. 
You need something super heavy on the top, so I use my iron skillet, okay, to push everything down. This is my chicken. Man, this thing weighs a ton. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how delicious. Okay, look at that. Now, what I'm going to do, because I want it crispy on top, so I'm going to take this, because this is already set in place. Okay, guys, it's already in place. I'm going to take this, I'm going to set it up here on the top. And I'm going to leave that for about five minutes to crisp up. This now is heated up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll check that in five. All righty, so... I've got my tortillas here. I'm going to add another one in the middle because you don't want it to seep through. You want everything like one big giant quesadilla, okay? But right now I'm going to heat my veggies. So all I have, really, I have red onion, I have bell pepper, and I have some green onion. Okay? Heat that a second. Remember, you always heat the pan first, then heat the oil, then put your food in, right? That was one of the things we talked about on Talking Treats last week. By the way, thank you so much if you watched that. We had a blast doing it. And it's just our families sitting around the table talking about different topics every other week. And next week, we're going to talk about COVID and food. How did food change with in-home food, restaurants? We're going to talk about COVID and change and what we can do in the kitchen. So, All right. Mary you got another one of my favorite words in there just a minute ago. Queso. What is it? Queso. 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 Oh, that's yeah. Queso. Queso. I agree, Mary. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get these amazing veggies cooking. I like red onion for this kind of a dish, okay? And you guys out there, you know, you know. But my favorite cuisine, I have to say, is Mexican food. And that's, we lived in Arizona for 40 years, over 40 years. Born in Brooklyn, New York, um, and grew up with, of course, my mom's full-blooded Italian. So we grew up eating Italian food, which I love. Don't get me wrong. Pasta is one of my, one of my staples in my house. But when we moved to Arizona, the Mexican cuisine is just so delicious. Mm -hmm different and the cumin and the, you know the, there's so many flavors the chilies and stuff that i just i love that's my favorite cuisine so anytime i'm making mexican food in my kitchen i'm so excited <laughs> all right Chris, i want you while this is cooking just to take a couple yes. minutes for this i want you to go over and artist it's going to make, you're going to make your sauce. You're ready to do it, kiddo? So my little three-year-old granddaughter is going to make sauce right now. We should start everybody on this day. There's mommy right here. Okay, so tell everybody this is the sour cream. This is the sour cream. Can you tell my hand? This is the sour cream. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is the sour this is how you pour in. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, ready? I'm gonna scoop that in there. Okay. That is better, everybody. <laughs> I, she said she's on my team. Okay. I, I love You're, the team. You're doing great. Right. How's she doing? Great. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay. And then you say, and this is the salsa. This is the salsa. Pour it on the salsa. Pour it on the salsa. Okay. Oh my god, that's all cracked me up. Okay. Now, you take your spatula and you mix it up. Mix it up. Jeanette Picardo's watching with us. Hello, Jeanette. We miss you. And you're going to make it absolutely wonderful. I'm going to win for sure. You're going to win for sure. Absolutely. Look, it's turning into four tears. It's turning into tortillas. <laughs> How's she doing over here? It's going great. Ready? Let's mix it. Are you two looking at you? Whoa! Wow. She's a mix. She's that was mommy. You are, you are so good at that. Look at that. Mommy made her mess up. Turn into white. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. All right, pour it in the bowl. Okay, is it ready, you think? Yeah. Let's give it one more good stir. Yeah, all that sour cream. I think yeah. it's going to be delicious. Careful. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Okay. So this is made for a creamier, sour, creamier sauce. Oh, 
salsa. It's a, it's a, okay. yeah, it's a sour cream, cream dip with the yeah. salsa. So now you hold on to the bowl. There you go. And you pour it into oh, your serving bowl. Oh, so delicious. And then make sure you scrape it all out, Artist Willery. Yeah. yeah. Now it's kind of pink, huh? Oops, I just yeah. it. Mommy spilled it. Much better job than mommy. Good job. Good, Good job. job. You did a great job, there, artist Willery. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 You know, Artis has been asking to help me on the show, and I'm like, she's coming today, she's going to do something. In the past, she's always got, got camera shy and didn't do it, so this is the first part. Good girl, Artis! Woohoo! Okay, I've got my ground turkey. You guys, of course, can use ground beef. Absolutely. All right? So, I'm going to let this cook a little bit. I'm checking this. Oh, yeah, it's getting crispy. Okay, here's what we're going to do while that's cooking. I'm going to make the quickest, most delicious salsa, literally, you will ever eat. If you like a garlicky cilantro taste, this is, this is it. Okay, so you're going to use a 14-ounce can of unsalted, you know that's good for me, right? But unsalted in this particular recipe, of just petite diced tomatoes. Okay, throw it in. Then I have the 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chili. That goes in. Okay, green chili. I've got a half a cup of fresh cilantro. One of my favorite, favorite tastes in Mexican cuisine. Mary, have a drink, but oh my god, artist is so cute. She's rocking that gym. Okay, now thank you guys for the comments out there. We appreciate that. Okay, so this is pretty big garlic. Four cloves of fresh garlic that I just kind of sliced. That goes in there. I love garlic. Garlic, garlic. I'm Italian. It's like an innate thing to just love garlic. But I love it in Mexican food also. This is one roasted poblano pepper, Chris. Hubby went out this morning on our George Foreman outside and he grilled the poblano and that always smells so amazing. And then I already rolled my lime. You remember last week we talked yeah. about if you're going to squeeze fruit for juicing or whatever, or just for squeezing, you have to roll it really hard first because it breaks the membrane that's around here and you get a lot more juice. So I am squeezing in, there you go, I got a lot of juice coming out of that. I'm going to squeeze in a whole, the juice of one whole lime, guys. There we go, look at that. Okay, the whole lime is the whole thing, guys. Yeah, there we go. I hear you beeping back there. I hear you. Balsa looks very yummy, and Patrick said I love garlic too. Right? Right? Okay. Okay. Chop it up, it may get noisy, but here we go. I just want to make sure that the garlic gets chopped up in here, okay? I don't mind eating one big giant piece of garlic, but not everybody has And there, friends, you have salsa. <laughs> that looks so amazing. Guys, just, just look at this. Can I, can I not look and eat? Well, I'm going to make you fresh chips in a minute. Oh. I can have yours? Oh, well, thank you. Okay, the salsa's done. Let me get my camera.
quesadilla out of the oven. <coughs> and Angie and Oysters with us. Hi, Angie. How are you, girls? Well, thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. We are so glad that you're part of our show now, Kathy. And if you ever get through Branson, Missouri, we'll have you come on the show. I'd like to get Kathy on the show on, on the next Cooking Nook, which is two weeks from today. I'd like to get Kathy on the screen and talk to her, and she can tell you all about her, her sauce. Kathy, I was going to tell you that the very first time I tasted the sauce, it just brought me right to Italian festivals. And when you go to Italian festivals, it's Italian cooking, Italian food. And man, just the smell of it and the taste of it was like a great, not a good one, a great Italian festival. So thank you for that. You guys out there, get Kathy's sauce. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice and crispy. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> Sounds like a little New Yorker. Kathy said, uh, you made it for me. Love hearing that. It's okay. Okay, so the meat's cooking. While this is still cooking, I'm going to turn on my electric skillet because I'm going to make fresh chips. Yesterday, last night, I sat there and all I did was I cut the small white corn chips, okay? Uh, the, the white tortillas, I should say, the fresh tortillas. I just cut them like chips, okay? And I'm going to heat this up, put oil in here, and make chips, and it's that quick, too. So you can have fresh chips literally in minutes. But you guys get to taste my salsa in just a minute. Daddy yeah, said you're making my mouth water. <laughs> Well, I'm glad, because that's what I'm hoping to do. <laughs> hey, Kathy, you just got into the Piggly Wiggly market, huh? That's amazing. Good for you. Good for you. Very, very happy for you. It's a great product. It's delicious, and it's, it is authentic Italian, and we know it. I mean, my mom cooks one of the best sauces ever. You can show mom. <laughs> One of the best sauces ever. Full blood Italian over there. <laughs> she said, yes, Piggly Wiggly. Good for you, girl. That's pretty awesome. Okay. I'm going to use plain old, actually the McCormick taco seasoning is my favorite. Okay, I've used others. The McCormick. And look, guys, 30% less sodium. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's for me. Low sodium, all the way, for me. Anybody with Meniere's, you understand. Okay. I'm going to put the taco seasoning. What's that? Sherry Lash is with us. She said, I should be working, but I'm taking a break to watch. Well, thank you, Sherry. We appreciate that. Hey, clean as you go, guys. Oh, you go. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Please. says, hi, Mom. Have you ever tasted it? Who said that? Kathy's asking you for sauce. Oh, Ka right? no, Kathy, my mom was not here when I when we used the sauce. We've used it twice, and it's delicious. And we had like kind of a little taste testing here with my sister, who's a great cook, and my daughter. Mom was not here that day, so she has not tasted your sauce yet. So I, don't worry, I'm gonna have her taste it. Cause she will be, mom's very honest, and she'll be a great critic for you. Give you a critique. But I'm telling you, Mom, you're going to love it. They use the, the um, renderings from sausage, Italian sausage in there, too. Yeah, you can taste the sausage. It's delicious. Yeah. Okay, so come here, guys. Actually, I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my oil in here. This is smoking. All right, I'm going to put, you know, like a good inch, inch and a half, uh, two inches, whatever. Right there, that's good of oil. I'm going to put this over here. Let the oil heat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you were very close. <laughs> I didn't expect you to stop right there. <laughs> that was like, whoo, hello. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I'm going to let the oil heat. This is to get the chips are only going to take a few seconds. But I want to get this in the oven. Because this takes a few minutes because once you put it in, you got to give it 15 minutes or so because you're going to you're gonna want all the cheese and everything to melt. And you want the tortillas to crisp up. So this is beautiful. Now in here, I'm going to give you guys a choice. In the, in the ground turkey one, do you want green chilies or not? I've got green chilies in the chicken. You want it in both or just one in one? What else would be in there? This is bell pepper and onion and the taco seasoning and stuff. And no, the the green 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 chili. Okay, so we're not going to do the green chilies in the meat. Okay, that's fine. Shut it up. Let that cook a second. You can't have a case of meat without the case. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of cheese. So, oh, let me show you what I did though. I, I, I put, I lined the outside with all the tortillas. And then because, you know, it could go through the bottom there. You don't want that. Put one right in the middle. Okay? Lots Artis, of cheese. Artist said earlier, it looked like a big sunflower. It does look like a big sunflower. Kathy would like for Mima to try it. She says she'd love to see her response. Oh, I mean, we can open up a jar right now and let her try it. Do you want me to put some sure. in the microwave? Sure. Kathy, we're going to put some on your table right now. Yeah, it's down there. It's in the bottom right there. Do you there. want me to heat it up? You can heat some oh, yeah. up. Kathy, cold or hot? What should I serve her? You tell me. <laughs> okay, guys, look, I've got a whole lot of cheese. Whole lot of cheese going on. A whole lot of cheese going on. Vivian, glad you finally got your audio working. Welcome. Oh, hi, Vivian. How are you, girl? Okay, let's fill this up. Holy cow, is this going to be amazing. What do you think, Chris? It's I <laughs> mouth can't watering. Wait. Yes. <laughs> it looks amazing. Okay, already. so while I fill this up, Emily's over she here said and she's cold gonna is make the true test. Oh, okay. okay. Cold is the true <coughs> test. All right, let's give her some cold. And I'll just give it to you. I'll give the jar to her and I'll spoon. <laughs> okay. And then, okay, and I want I want Mima right on the camera. All right. Kathy, all I'm right. going to let you go over to my mom. I'm going over. Because all I'm doing is putting this up on the tortillas. She said, she said whatever you prefer. She said, cold is the true test, but whatever you prefer. So, cold is the true test. Take the lemon. Take the lemon. Um, so, you know, I see a jar when you put it on plate. And Carol Boyer just joined us. Hello, Carol. Thank you for joining oh, us, you guys. I think I dumped some on you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's to take home with you. <laughs> All right, Mom. Oops. Oops. You get to tell Kathy what you think of her amazing. Yeah, I think it's good. I like it. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Chris, Chris just told me this week. He said he, if we just bought this pizza dough stuff, and he said, "Hey, we're good. I want to use some of Kathy's sauce for pizza." Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, use it, it for the show. You can I'm like gonna use it as a pizza meat. sauce. You can taste the sauce, which I like. Yeah. It is very good. Yes. Very good. Isn't that delicious? Yeah. You could taste the sauce. Right. You can. And it's, it's almost like for me, Kathy, when I tasted it, it was like you, if, if all of a sudden you taste this, then you taste yeah. this, and then you yeah. taste this, and it's got this layer of delicious sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go, Kathy. All right. Yes. Kathy, that's, trust me, that's a genuine, because Mom would have said, eh, she, she liked it. She's still eating it. She's still eating it. We're not even on camera, she's still eating it. That's good. Okay, so, queso, right? Look, look how beautiful this looks. That does yeah, look amazing. Okay, Emily, while well, yeah. I'm putting the cheese on here, go ahead and start your... Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> homemade, homemade guacamole by Emily. Okay. I'm not the guacamole person, Emily is. Okay, Mom, would you mind putting some cheese on here for the girls? Come on now. Okay, so I, I have, I did the cookbook, in the last cookbook, um, I did this recipe, and it's my cheat recipe that makes it super easy, fast, easy, and delicious. And um, So instead of getting the tomatoes and jalapenos and cilantro, I simply buy Pico de Gallo, which already has yeah. all of that in Italy. I told you the ones up And I just, yeah. just uh, cut up the, obviously the avocado. I'm going to be very careful because I sliced you, my I was going to say, you, oh, gosh, you had a knife did. accident the other day. That was not such a, so I'm going to be careful. Um, anyway, I'm going to just do two avocados and probably... 
a line and a half, I would suspect, after all that was all that. Okay, the spoil's almost ready. So this is so simple. It's literally just the avocado, the pico, which I drain a lot of the juice and us usually just the, uh, mostly just the actual food ingredients instead of all that juice. Okay, while well, you just span over here, yep. if you will, real mm -hmm. quick, because I put two more tortillas on the top here, and then you just fold everything in. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Then, where'd my other pan go? Oh, I know. I'm going to use this. I'll use this. I'm going to put the flat pan on here. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to put my skillet back. Make sure it's, it's not still a little warm. It's all right. It's okay. And then this is going in the oven because it's going to take a few minutes. Let me pull it. Do you have a pot holder right here, please? Uh, yep. You made it. Here you are. Thank you. Okay. And let's get this in. This is very heavy and feeds a lot of people. Thank you, like that's good because we got a lot of people. Okay. I'll get my workout just to put the case in Okay. That's your heavy one thing. Yeah. Okay, let's see if these are done. You can go to Emily while the other one We're watching the block take shape. Yep. So, again, it's just simply avocado, pico de gallo, and limes, salt, and pepper to taste. That's it. And it is delicious. And I don't know about you, but I am like the limeier the better. <laughs> I like it really limey. I like lime. I yeah. Like lime. Yep. And I've got a cool kitchen trick hack that I found online. Oh, what's that? With the limes. I'll show you in a second. Josh Sears is with us. Hello, Josh. How are you? Oh, they're good. all dealing with COVID at yeah. their house. He, oh he my said, gosh! I didn't know they had COVID. The whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Josh. He I'm said, so said once sorry. we've recovered, I think I'll make this. It looks good. Well, yeah, I hope you guys recover quickly. Oh my gosh, it's yeah, horrible. We're, horrible. We're praying for you. Okay, so real quick, oh I'm gonna gosh. take the lines here. I'm gonna show you the cool trick I found on line. So limes are typically harder to squeeze for some reason than a lemon. So this whole trick is that if you put it in between the tongs, no, like line it up in the tongs, and you squeeze the tongs, I don't know if you can see, if you squeeze the tongs. Hey, look in there. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Get your hat sitting over here. You yeah. Get you a lot of the juice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Without killing yourself. Very That's a good very idea. good hack. Yeah, I was wondering why you needed tongs. Yeah. <laughs> good kitchen hack. So, uh, yeah, no, very good. That's that. So there's those kitchen tips we were talking about yeah. during the Talk and Treats episode last week. And we were, really, yeah, with the avocado, it depends on, some people like it completely smooth with no chunks. I like to leave it a little chunky. I like to get a nice... I, I think it's better bite. with a little bite a nice of the good avocado. Bite of the avocado. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, personally, but you can do it as smooth as you want. All right. We want to remind everybody, too, that we have the <clears throat> website we want you to go to. It's www.cachinadecatherina.com. Cachina with a C, of course, Katharina with a C. So if you go to Kathy's website for the sauce, um, you can order... She's got Nook 2 or Nook 4. You just hashtag Nook 2 or Nook 4 for two or four jars of the sauce that was given the thumbs up by my mother. So there you go. It's great sauce. Like I said, we tried it, and it's, it's really delicious, and it's very authentic tasting sauce. Very authentic. I will be using Kathy's sauce on my recipe in two weeks. We're doing big, giant stuffed shells. And, we're gonna, and I'm going to make an antipasto salad, and it's going to be great. What'd you say? Vivian was saying, wow, cool idea to Emily's line. Yeah. Yeah. And then well, Rob, said, great. on behalf of Jessica and myself, thank you all for your prayers. Yes. Once I recover, Christine, we have to talk about getting me on there on your show at Z. I would love, oh, Josh, my <laughs> gosh, I would love that. Holy cow. And then, yeah, Josh is, is an amazing, he's a friend from Arizona. An amazing performer, an amazing singer. I've directed hundreds, hundreds of shows in Arizona, 
and Josh was in several of them, and he was the he was the plant in um, Little Shop of Horrors. And, and I'm telling you, he played Audrey too. Like he he should be on Broadway doing it. He was so 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 good. What an incredibly talented talented guy. Great voice, and he just played that role like seriously Broadway caliber. And then Kathy just said thank you so much. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. Thank and you. we do want to remind you again of our website, yes. www.mcnfedup.biz, mcn for my cooking nook, fedup.biz. Yes. We also invite you to please go to our YouTube channel, My Cooking Nook on YouTube. Yes, and they can do that every, they can see every show we've done. They can. 50, 50 something shows now, yep. I think. Right? Like and subscribe. I think this actually is number 50. Uh, well, 51, actually, yeah, if you count the Talk and Treats yeah. episodes, yes. Yep. And we want you to like and subscribe there. And uh, we're, we're trying to build that community up. We want to get uh, to our first thousand subscribers soon. So please have, help us get had, there. We've had enough subscribers last time to, so for me to do my cookbook. Anybody out there still wants a cookbook? I've got some. I actually don't have a lot left, but I can reorder, but I don't have a lot left. But I would love for you guys to have my fast, easy, and delicious cookbook. And there have been many people who have bought the book who have already made the meals, some of the meals. Teresa made the chicken cutlets and the, the uh, coleslaw, you said. And coleslaw, and she was excited. Yay! My cousin Donna out there, she's made the... Um, Chicken and dumplings. So I I know I know that there are other people. Yeah, that Nicolette and Ben. Nicolette and Ben. Um, I know Heidi Erica. Heidi has. Heidi. Yeah, she. Oh. Um, Edward made one of the recipes. How nice! I know. Um, who made this? The one last a few few weeks ago. A few a week ago, somebody made one and sent me. Who was it? Somebody else did one. Anyway, so, people are people are using the recipes, which I'm so excited about, mm -hmm. and having very very rave reviews, which is very exciting for me. I'm already working on cookbook number two, but I can't put that one out until you guys get me to a thousand likes on YouTube. So I need you to spread the word, and I need you to like and subscribe. Hey, on these chips, all I'm going to do is sprinkle with a little bit of the garlic salt. That's it. Make some more. Well, you're doing that. I'm going to swing around and show them the, the jar of sauce and your cookbook. I want everybody to see it. <coughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, she did? Very good. All right. So, down here we have Kathy sauce, the Cucina de Catarina pasta sauce there, and Christine's cookbook right back there. Again, you can you can get on to uh, our website and order the cookbook anytime. They have gone out all over the world as gifts at Christmas. Yeah, And did. we're getting raised. Really Brave reviews, so please share share that with your friends as well. Yes. Oh, I know who it was, Erica, Emily. Oh yeah. She said that they they actually pick recipes, different recipes for because they they they, they you know, the, the mom, the dad, the dog, the kids. They take turns cooking and then they select out of my cookbook which meal yeah. they make. So it's like, wow, that's, that's so awesome. awesome. coleslaw recipe that Teresa made was actually my sister's recipe. We used to have a restaurant and we did a Friday night fish fry and Jennifer made this coleslaw. It's not your typical coleslaw. It's, 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 I'm not even going to tell you what's in it. you got to buy the cookbook to see what's so different about her coleslaw. But we would have people that would come in and buy gallon jugs, like the big giant gallon jugs of the coleslaw. It was that good. She really should market it, but you know, maybe at some point. Okay, these chips are looking great. You see how easy it is to make chips, guys? Nice, delicious tortilla chips to go say, with the fresh salsa and the guacamole. Like homemade fresh chips, oh, too. Oh my gosh. Let's 
Let's see how we're doing Kathy says thank you to Mary Halsey for making the connection with you Absolutely. guys first. <coughs> we're doing thank you, Mary Halsey, for that. Mary Halsey, actually, she's great. She's brought us a lot of people to the show, to our table, and we yes. appreciate her so, so much. And yes, through Mary Halsey, we, we I contacted Kathy, and I'm very, very happy about that, and very really excited for what's happening to Kathy. Yeah. What? My cookbook. Yeah. <laughs> That's you in the picture. That is, that is me, for sure. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, the theater just about done. I'm going to put this first batch of chips on the table so that they can start eating the chips and salsa. And when you guys eat the salsa, I want an honest... Well, they've been eating it. The been salsa? Been eating it. <laughs> on what? On I, went, I went and I found some <laughs> tortilla chips and just wanted to try it. We just wanted to try it. All right, go over there and let them try okay. the chips. Here we go. Hot, fresh <laughs> chips coming to the table. <clears throat> Those are going to be the best, and give it a hit with the salsa there. Yes, cameraman gets to have a chip with salsa. Oh yeah, I'll get my share. I'll get my share. How is that, Joe? Oh, it's delicious. Anybody want some guacamole when they're hot like that? Ooh, I love hot chips. Okay, how's the salsa? Isn't that great? Yeah. Can you taste the garlic? There's a lot of garlic. And, the, and the a lot cilantro. of cilantro. I love Ooh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna, okay. I'm, gonna cut, I'm actually gonna cut some of the uh, chicken quesadilla. They're going okay. Look at that. I love it. And look, uh, can you hear the crunch, 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 crunch? Okay, love it. Look at this. Can you guys see that in there? Kathy said I should be there eating your delicious food with you. You feel like I'm part of the family. You are, Kathy. What are you kidding me? That's awesome. That's what we love about doing this show. Okay, so the chicken quesadilla is ready. And the chicken quesadilla is my favorite because it's got the green chilies. Look at this, guys. Just, just, I want you to look at this. Their cheese is, oh my gosh, you can't have too much cheese. I don't care if it's Italian food or Mexican food. You cannot have too much cheese, right? You are right. Okay, here, look. This okay. fell out. Look at me. Look at me. Whoop. Where are you? There you go. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh. Ah! There's my stream. <laughs> There's my stream, guys. Wait, wait until you taste this. I would love to. <laughs> I'm working on it. Hold on. Hey, I need that plate back. My plate. Oh. Here, you have a basket there. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I got a basket. I forgot. I kept it. Oh, you want those in there? It's so good. You did such a great job. Oh, okay, mix it again. Okay, so Vivian said beautiful, and Josh said yummy. It is very yummy, and thank you guys. Doesn't food just, I don't know about you guys, but doesn't food just make you happy? Good food makes you happy. That looks really good. Thank you so much. All right, we got a couple more batches of chips. And my, by that time, my quesadilla in the oven will be done because really and truly it's just a matter of food inside is cooked. You gotta just melt the cheese and you gotta um, crisp the, the tortilla around it and then you got yourself a big, fat, amazing quesadilla. It says we've got Carol Boyer watching. Yes, Carol is up earlier. Hi, Carol. I hope everybody's doing well. All right, hey Elizabeth, I'll tell you what I want you to do is if you'll do the drawing for who won the, the new set of pot holders, that would be great. All right, so these are the names of folks that were here with us, was it last two week, ago. two weeks ago, two weeks ago, the folks that were on with us, and they're going to draw for a set of Christine's handmade pot holders that we're going to send out. Yes, Rose. It is very yummy for my tummy. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, go ahead. Let's see. Who is it? Courtney Lowry. Hey, Courtney. Hey, congratulations. Congratulations, right, Courtney. Courtney, for tuning in last week. And Courtney, we're just going to need your address here to get these pot holders for you. Yay! We're going to have a party at the end of every month for the pot holders. Okay. All right, I'm holding on. I'm chewing. I'm, you know what? I can't help it. There's some <laughs> fell out of the... Look, some fell out. Yep. Yeah. Hey, that's that's the chef's prerogative. The perks of being the chef. It's so good. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Gina Marie Flores. Hello, Gina. How are you, girl? Hey. I'm so glad you Thank you for joining us, everybody, today. And we always have a lot of people. Tons of people go later on to the YouTube. And watch it there, or watch it on Facebook. You can watch it. You can rewatch it on Facebook, and uh, please send all your friends yes, our way. And, and again, to the, the, the that's okay. I was just going to say onto the YouTube channel as well. And we have people from literally from all over the world that yes, watch our we show. Do. And we're very very happy about that. And we thank you guys. We have we have people that tune in every single week. And we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Trust me, it means a lot to us. It means a whole lot to us. So, thank you for doing that. So, Carol said, yes. we are good. What kind of pan are you using for the quesadilla? What kind of pan? You are not making cuts in the pan surface. I am not. This is, this is, I'm hey, you know you what? Get... I'm glad you said that, Carol. It's a cut-free pan. You can't cut it. I don't know what that means, but that was part of the, the, the advertisement on this particular pan, on these what pans, is that even with a knife, you can't cut the, the stuff off of it. There you go. Yeah. All right, how are we doing in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening, guys. I'm going to do it. You're full? I mean, everything. That's okay. That's okay. This is going to be my last batch of chips. It's delicious. Thank you very much. Mm. And then I'm going to put out the chicken quesadillas. You guys can take, you can try one of each of the different quesadillas and see what you think and which one you prefer. I know for myself it's going to be the chicken because the it's just ground turkey. Okay, so let's make some room here. Okay. Ashley, I'm just going to have you like bring it around and serve it, if you will. Mm, so Joshua says you guys mean a lot to us. You do, you too. And then Kathy said, I was thinking the same on the pan. I need that pan. Yes, you do. And this is great because I'm using this big giant knife and there's not one little scratch on my pan. What is that pan? It just says it's, it's, cut, it's cut free or something. Like you, your knife is not going to... And it didn't. And I'm using a big old knife. Wow. So there you go. I'm terrible for that. Yeah, because all my stuff have cut. This is supposed to not cut. Look at that. Now look. I just cut, I just cut on it. And look. There's nothing. Ha! <laughs> so it worked. Good job, you guys. So Wilton. Wilton. Well, you guys know Wilton. Wilton is a, an amazing. Good product. Yeah, it's a great product. It's been around a long time. They're baking, of course, anything with baking is Wilton, and that's an amazing, this is an amazing uh, pan. Kathy says she often uses kitchen scissors to oh, avoid that to cut? Yeah. kind of stuff. Oh, so. yeah. mm. oh, mm. your, mo your mother's raving over there about the food. Good. All right, tell me, how are we doing over there? Uh, baby, this, what am I eating? So Which one? That's the what chicken quesadilla. That's the chicken quesadilla with green chili. Sheep pan quesadilla. Chili. Is that good? Mm. Oh my gosh. Are the girls eating? Are you guys eating? Yeah, we're eating everything. Let's go. Is it good? Did you try it? I haven't tried it yet. Okay. 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 Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Emily, bring me a little cage again, please. Oh. All right. Let me check while well, this is finishing up right here. Let me see how we're doing down here. So remind you again, too, that next week, next Wednesday, is the second installment of the 
talk and treats episode. So Christine will be making a fresh dessert and we'll have some coffee and just kind of a round table discussion with uh, family and friends. You will have an opportunity to join us not only live on Facebook, but we're going to set up a Google Meet. That looks amazing. We'll set up a Google Meet and you can actually come on live with us that way and sit in our dining room with us and we're going to be discussing again lots of great food. Last was all, last week was all kitchen tips. This week we're going to be discussing food and kitchen work and COVID. And how COVID has changed even how we eat and where we eat and what we do with food and the grocery stores and we're just going to talk about COVID. And what we do because COVID has changed everything, has it? Okay, we're good here. How's Emily's guacamole? Delicious. Delicious. Guacamole. guacamole. Okay, so all I did right now is I put the um, quesadilla back in the oven just to brown it on top, but it's done. Okay, and so the chips are done. We got the last of the chips. I'm going to turn this and unplug. Always be careful about that, guys, when you're working with oil and you're done, please. Just either unplug or move it away or shut things off just be careful okay all right okay. vivian thanks for joining us today she says she's got to go but she'll see you next week Bye. thank you vivian thanks for coming thank you all right guys yeah that. thank you vivian look at this great thank chips you, and everything everything guys how quick was the salsa how quick were the Put chips the quesadilla everything no you cook in the pan put it in the oven fast. And we are 45 minutes in and, and, and everything is wrapped. Right. Really, everything's oh, I'm, just, I'm just browning up here. But there you go. All done. There's our chips. <laughs> Yay. Okay. What's I'm going to eat a piece of the chicken while I have it. It's really good. Woo! Okay. I'm going to crisp it up on broil so that we can get it out. Alrighty. Got to watch it closely now it's not broiled. It's going to really fast. But I just wanted to, to, to crisp up. So Josh says, Jess and I will be professionals in a COVID conversation. Okay. Me too. Yeah. I'm watching this, guys. It's not going to take long. In my entire life. <laughs> You know, when you're browning something, when you're broiling something, you, you really got to watch it closely because... Yeah, broiling scares me. Broiling? <laughs> well, I mean, you just got to pay attention because it'll it can go from you know, nice and brown to burnt in a second. Okay, yeah. It's getting close. Give me about a minute. What's starting? I'm we'll checking out. <laughs> That's the recipe <laughs> song. <laughs> All right. Let's recap. I make salsa with one, two, three, four, five, six, six ingredients. That's it. How's the salsa? Very good. Isn't that delicious? I've made it a few times before, and it's one of the best salsas ever. Thank you so much. I like the texture. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Okay, and then of course we had the chicken quesadilla, green chili chicken. I've got the ground turkey or ground beef. Quesadilla, it's a sheet pan quesadilla where you just put everything on a big sheet pan and put it in the oven. Let's check it. Oh, you're busy right here. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. I hear ya, I hear ya. Look at that. Oh, it's perfect. That looks awesome. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Now, what is that? The same as this? This is the meat. This is the ground turkey one. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right. Cooking is done, man. And it's delicious. Off. Mm -hmm. Off. So Carol said, would it work to use parchment paper under the quesadilla? You can. And do you put butter or oil on the tortilla? I, I on, on, on top? Nothing. Nothing. Because if you put, I, I think I did spray a little on this, and I'll tell you, it didn't make a difference. This one, I didn't put any oil on top, and it, and it crisped nicer. Yeah. It looks great. So there you go. And this pan that I have the um, the meat one on is the same um, Wilton brand that is not supposed to. You got the name of the Wilton. It's the Wilton brand. Yes. Okay. This is gonna be hot. Yes, it is. I, I probably should wait. You know, like in lasagna yeah. and stuff. You know, you wait a you second. Let it settle. 
put what, what we're eating. Okay. okay. You don't mind if it falls out on the sides, do you guys? Thank you. Because no, I want to be able to show everybody how this looks. Okay, next week, don't forget, next week is our talk and treats show. I'm going to be making some um, recipes, desserts that are geared towards Valentine's Day. And same time, but we'll be sitting at the table talking and eating. And then the four jars, and Kathy would love to send that to you because it's a great, great sauce. Mm -hmm. And okay. she does have the website in the comments here. If you forget it, just scroll up and you can find yeah, Kathy's website. Yes. Okay. It's all done. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I think we glitched there for a minute. There, <clears throat> you may have uh, may get a little pause in the uh, in the video, but we're good. We're good. So we just had a little glitch, I think, for just a moment in the video. Okay, I want. Oh my God. That looks great. Oh, yeah. That looks phenomenal. Woo! Okay, I'm going to serve this up. Thank you guys for being here today. We love you guys. We'll see you next week for talking treats. We'll see you the following week for more cooking right here in my cooking that's fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. We love you guys. Congratulations, Courtney. One of the, the, the yes. We just need to have Courtney's address. We thank you all. Thank you, Kathy, for joining us. We really appreciate that. We appreciate all of you coming in. Watch the show on YouTube. Tell people about us and like and subscribe. Bye-bye, guys. We love you. Bye. Bye.